Hello, I'm Beamelzebub, and welcome to my channel. I want you to all to imagine something with me for a moment. Imagine that a religious person comes up to you and says, there is a god, and that god is the god that I worship in the way that I worship it. Something similar to this has likely happened since... The religious do sometimes love to proselytize, whether you want to be proselytized to or not. And you respond with, I don't believe you. Tell me, who has the burden of proof there? Is it the person making the claim or the person who doesn't believe the claim? Now, if you say that the person who disbelieved the claim owns the burden of proof, what you're actually doing is trying to shift that burden of proof. By definition, the person who owns the burden of proof is the one who makes a claim. If I were to claim that I was able to run at the same speed as a cheetah, would it be on the person who very reasonably didn't believe me? Or would the burden of proof be mine? Clearly, I would have to be the one to prove that I can, in fact, run as fast as a cheetah. I can't just insist that the person take me at my word. And I, I guess I can insist that they take me at my word, but why would or should they? The point is, the burden of proof would belong to me in that case. So why do many religious people try to shift the burden of proof onto atheists by saying nonsense like you can't disprove God's existence. All we did was say, I don't believe you, when they said that God exists and it's the particular one they worship and the way they worship it. I get it. We atheists are sort of the unusual ones in society since we either don't accept or we outright reject the God claim. But us being seemingly unusual in a society doesn't mean we have to prove shit. Although we are growing in number, so we're becoming a little less unusual every day. But we don't share any burden of proof either. If a religious person says there is a God and it's the God I worship, 100% of the burden of proof is on them. It's not also somehow on atheists to investigate the claim for them. Whatever proselytizing religious person wants to claim, they need to back up for themselves. Don't stomp your foot and groan when we tell you that we're not going to do your homework for you. But that'll do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you feel so inclined to help me out, consider giving to my Patreon where I plan on having monthly patron-only live streams or hangouts. Or consider getting me something from my Amazon wishlist. Every little bit helps, and every little bit is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter linked below to keep up with all my comings and goings, and join my Discord for a chance to talk to yours truly. Take it easy, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one.